I'm Brittany Jason and I work here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. I love to play chess, whether I'm at my, the park in my neighborhood or my living room or on a trip with my family. Today we're going to show you how to make a travel chess set of your own to take with you on all your journeys. This program is part of the exhibition Pawns and Passports Chess Sets from Around the Globe at the World Chess Hall of Fame. The supplies are here, so I, you'll need four pieces of 12 by 12 inch felt. You'll need some string, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a pencil, some iron-on adhesive that you can get at your local craft store, and then uh, a template for your chess pieces. So to get started, you'll have to choose which colors you want for your board and which colors you want for your pieces. I'm choosing a classic black and white for my board. So I'm going to use the white for my squares. As you can see here, I chose a lighter color. And then I'm going to use the black for um, the back of my board. As for my pieces, I chose to have a little more fun and chose two bold colors, a red orange and a teal. And we'll set those aside for now because we're going to trace our pieces and cut those out later. All right. So the first step is going to be cutting and measuring out our squares. Since I chose the white as my top square, I'm going to measure out each square will be one and a half inches by one and a half inches, and we'll need 32 squares. Let's see. So one and a half by one and a half. And you can measure out in a grid so it's easier to cut later. How I'm doing that is just by taking the edge of my felt along the edge of my ruler and dividing it out from there. You should be able to get at least three rows of squares from this size of chill, uh, felt. Alright, once you have your squares all measured out, you can start cutting. And it's okay if all your squares aren't perfectly cut the same size. You just want to try to get it as close as possible to create that awesome checkerboard pattern for your board. All right, now I have all of my squares cut. It's time to lay them out on our board to get them ready before we start to iron. All right, so I have the bottom piece for my board here, and I'm gonna lay out my squares, starting with a lighter color in the bottom corner. From there, we kind of alternate colors and even space in between so that the dark color shows through. This part may take some time, but you can kind of just match up corner to corner to see how your squares will fit. It's like a giant puzzle, which can be kind of fun. All right, so right now I'm just adjusting all my squares to make sure they're fitting well on the board because we'll have to attach them later. All right, so it's, look, it's looking good. I think I got everything fitting pretty well. 
The next step um, is to iron on our iron on backing. Um, you'll have to ask an adult to help you with this next part. Make sure you heat your iron to a medium setting to get the iron hot enough at a good temperature to um, use your iron on adhesive. While my iron is preheating, I am going to um, start cutting the squares for my iron on adhesive. Um, so this is really great adhesive for this project because it will adhere to the back of these little felt squares and then on to the backing of your chessboard. Um, so we'll be cutting small squares that fit into this size and um, that way we can iron them on easily. I'm gonna move these out of the way here. I'll use one so I know what size. And you can use a pencil and trace this out um, on the back of the paper here if you'd like, if that's easier. Um, I think I'm just going to kind of eyeball it based off my square here. And you'll know that you need as many squares of iron-on adhesive as you will for um, the squares on your board. That should be enough squares. If I need to, I can always cut some more. So, where it looks like we're ready to go. My iron is ready and at the correct temperature. So, I will show you how to iron on this adhesive. You'll notice there's a shiny side and then a paper side. You're going to want to put the shiny side to the back of your um, square here and then using your ironing board as a surface underneath um, you'll just press on the adhesive and then it's good to hold it for like five to ten seconds to make sure that the adhesive has fully uh, adhered to the back of your chest square Mine's looking good, all right. So you'll follow this step for all of your squares for your board and um, you'll just let them cool to the side after you've placed all of the adhesive on. And I'm placing my squares back on my board so I remember the way I laid them out, so that way it's a lot easier to stick them on the board later. All right. Now that we have all of our backing onto our squares and we have it kind of laid out the way we had originally, we're going to let those squares cool for a second um, because if we peel them off too quickly, the paper will just peel off all that hard work we did and we don't want that. So um, while I'm letting my squares cool off a bit from the ironing, I'm going to start um, tracing my chest pieces. Um, you can get this great template on our website. 
um, and this will help you kind of trace out some chess pieces that'll fit in your squares but if you want to make your own chess pieces go for it you got it just make sure they fit on your board okay I've already cut out my template which are so tiny and cute so now I'm going to use these to trace all the pieces I need So I have our king, queen, here, rook, bishop, knight, and my pawn. So I'm going to start by tracing out on my red sheet of felt. Okay, you'll need two bishops of each color. Same goes for the knight and the rook. For pawns though, you probably know this, you'll need eight of each color. Once you have all your pieces traced out, you can cut them out or you can go ahead and trace the other color. I'm going to go ahead and trace my other color and then cut out all at once. All right, so I've traced out all of my um, pieces here. And before I sit and cut them out, I'm going to check back on my board because um, we still need to adhere those squares to the board and it looks like they're all pretty cool. Excellent. Um, so for this step, you'll actually be peeling the backing off of that adhesive. can take some but you'll see that the paper goes away and you still have this shiny side um, and that's that adhesive so you'll want to put place the shiny side down um, back in the spot where your square was so I'm going to go through and I'm going to peel off all the paper and then the next step will be to iron the squares on For the sake of time, I went ahead and ironed um, my chess squares onto my chess board here, just to kind of speed things up. But definitely take your time. You don't want to rush too, um, too much with this part, just because those pieces can really move on you. And then just to remind you, uh, Five to 10 seconds on each square is good, just to make sure that adhesive has fully bonded your felt square to your chest board. All right, and you can kind of smooth down the edges just to make sure all have been adhered to. Let's see how we did. Beautiful. All right, so now we're ready to finish up our chest pieces here. I'm gonna turn my iron off. All right. All right, so I went ahead and cut out my teal pieces. So those are all ready to go. I'm gonna next cut out my red pieces. And you can see I definitely didn't use all this felt, but that's okay, because I'm gonna save it for a future project. 
All right, so you can just set that extra felt aside. I have all my pieces cut out in both my colors. Let me just make sure I have everyone here. I've got a king and queen in each color, two bishops in each color, two knights, two rooks, and eight pawns in both teal and red. So it looks like I'm ready for a match. If you feel like you don't want to cut out um, as detailed of pieces as I did, you can always make your own, like I mentioned before. You can draw on the felt. You can um, really make it your own. All right, and there we are. The last step, what the string is for, is just so that you can roll up your chessboard and take it with you. So all you need is just a longer piece of string. I cut about, I want to say 14 inches. You can make it shorter or longer. Um, we just need it to roll up our board. So say you want to take your board out with you on your adventures. You just make sure all your pieces are to one side. That way you can kind of fold them up and they won't slip out on your way to the park or on your trip. And there you have it. You are ready to play chess on the go. We'd love to see your work. Please tag at World Chess HOF with your creation for a chance to be featured. Pawns and passports, chess sets from around the globe will be on view at the World Chess Hall of Fame with free admission. Thank you.